are these people? Here it is. Yeah. American Desires. Yeah. Well, here we go. I don't mean to sound alarmist, but most of what they let you read is garbage. Most of it's designed to warp our minds until subconsciously you find you'll take the time to lick their boots free of grime and wipe their minds free of tarnish. Oil is the centerpiece, a body count of millions is the garnish. So how does it feel to know we funded every carcass? That every year our taxes pay for carpet bombing Gaza under shroud of darkness? That we spend enough a year to house and feed each homeless person in the streets on turning families and apartment buildings in the Middle East to bloody craters full of charred garments. And our media is silent at best. At worst, they can find it in themselves to call war crimes clashes and label children burned to ashes terrorists who played a stupid game and reaped the harvest. And every time we try to paint the truth, the news sends all their slugs to suck off all the varnish and distort it into something harmless. The media will hang you by your feet until you're half asleep. So yes, I'm here to set you free. But freedom won't be sweet because you'll fall a thousand feet when I come cut you out your harness. They say those who dream the deepest fall the farthest. They also say that home is where the heart is. But if home for you is Gaza, Netanyahu's got you painted as a target. Perhaps it's not the impact, but it's what you see when falling that will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the sound of all those children crying out in those apartments that will hit the hardest. Maybe all those little bodies scattered in the dirt will hit the hardest. Maybe seeing human lives assign such little worth will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the knowledge that you're paying for the darkest of atrocities committed on this earth that will hit the hardest. Maybe it's the knowledge that we give 10 million a day to the oppressors who possess the kind of Medicare you'll die in debt before you see that's going to hit the hardest. Maybe then you'll see you've always had more in common with the commoners whose slaughter we fund every day in Gaza than your senators or bosses. Maybe then you'll see our country never had a conscience. Maybe then the retroactive guilt will make you nauseous. Maybe what hits harder than the impact is the act of being conscious of knowing your complicity and helplessness to try and stop the bloody deeds of Congress. That no matter who's in office, America preserves its foreign interests by whatever means its greed demands, however monstrous. We'll always need a place to train our Contras. And Biden's got a backup plan should harm befall the Holy Land. Wipe it off the map, he'll draw it back on with an iron hand. He demands an Israel or reasonable effigy to exercise democracy and colonize the Middle East, regardless of the human cost or phosphorus atrocities, all bought and paid with money. They rerouted out the budget for the non-essential things like ever making Flint's water clean. Maybe what hits hardest is the day you see this country for its actual priorities and never more no honest peace attempting sleep. Maybe then you'll look at politicians making speeches like a blood-encrusted beast espousing destiny to empty seats and fellow leeches. As the gauntlet of democracy extends its brutal reach, like a giant wave of trash come to crash on foreign beaches, Maybe build a base, throw a flag down, and heavily pollute the region. Rape your ecosystems, gut your fauna, and congratulate you on your new allegiance. <laughs> Oops, we mean alliance. This is something mutual, unless you're non-compliant. We've stolen something crucial on which you can be reliant. So maybe what hits hardest is the centrist saying both sides need to stop the violence. Those would be the very same centrists saying we should all accept police brutality who ham and haw and clutch their fucking pearls and spend their time condemning riots. But very soon will come the day the centrists all get censored like the rest of us and pious as they'll try to be, they won't stay quiet. But they'll just end up shouting in the void that they were all so quick to render us subscribers and it will be too late to light the fires. So far away tonight, there burn the spires of a region set ablaze for which you've paid for every pyre. Which is why your checks weren't all $600 higher. Call it foreign interests or American desires. <laughs>